Hi all, it's Dr. J again. Uh, with me today is... Amir. Hello everyone. Amir is going to help me uh, do this simple little program that produces a table of integers, their squares and their cubes, and then a foot of line at the end of the table that will add up the sum of the first n integers, the sum of the squares of the first n integers, and the sum of the cubes of the first n integers. You with that, Amir? Yeah. All uh, right, do you want to read that comment just to clarify it? Uh, this program will run input n from the user and output a table including a header that contains 111, 2483927, etc. until n is n square n cube, as well as printing out the sum of the first n integers, sum of the some of the squares of the first n integers and some of the cubes of first n integers as put as a table. I think we're going to add one more comment and that is we're going to use what kind of a loop? We will use a while loop to program the solution. And while loops we already are familiar with from homework and from classwork. So, um, tell them to knock it off. Excuse me, everyone. Uh, professors, want your attention, please. Okay, so we're going to continue. We need uh, we need uh, we need background noise to fade away a little bit. Okay, good. All right, so what variables, Amir, would you, would you start with? Let's declare some variables. Uh, okay. int, uh, a n, yeah. N, yeah. N. That's going to be the user's sum input. Yeah. Anything else? Sum of the sum. Of sum. Sum, sum of the squares. Sum of the squares. Sum of the cubes. Sum of cubes. Um, should we make them initialize to zero? Yes. Why not? For the yeah. same money, right? Yeah. And of course, is being read in, so we don't need to initialize. Okay, so let's uh, ask the user for input. Let's ke let's keep it small, like under 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 twenty. I think the user will get the idea. Small, positive, integer. If it's too big, it's a little a little. The table will be a little unwieldy. All right, C N. We're calling it what? The user input is um, n. N, correct. Okay, and now we're going to create the table using a while loop. Uh, probably we should write the first line, the header header line before the while loop. So let's write the header first. And to do that. We're going to use the tab character, right? So we're going to we're going to uh, uh, we're going to write. Uh, let's use uh, backslash uh, slash slash n. No slash t. We'll tab over immediately. Slash t and n, and then slash t and what? S squares. Some yeah. squares. Yeah. Uh, we just end squared like this. We can use a carrot. Yeah, two. yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, of course, this has to be in parentheses. So the slash n part, the slash t part. So let's fix that. And the same thing here.
Okay, n squared, and oh, that's in parentheses too. They're all in parentheses. So I just messed up again. It's not the actual value of n, it's the header. All right, so let's get rid of these. And arrow, and carrot two, and quote. And uh, now, of course, it gives me an extra quote. It's annoying. It gave me an extra quote, yeah. Yeah, it always seems to do that. All right, let's let's just write the third part, and that's uh, backslash t and n q. Okay, <coughs> and there we go. We'll do an endlin. Could have used slash n again. Probably should have in the spirit of things. So while n, well, we actually need a counter variable. So let's put in a counter variable up here. I'll call it counter equals one. Okay? I need a semicolon, not a period. Comma, not a period. All right, so now let's do the while loop. While counter less than or equal to n, we keep going. And before we uh, actually write the loop, let's check to make sure that everything's okay so far. So we'll compile. Taking a long time on the compile. I did click it, right? Yeah. It shows up and goes all the way. Yeah, something strange going on. Run. Please enter a small positive integer. Okay, that's good. So that looks good. All right, so. Are you talking about Let's continue. Okay, while counter less than or equal to n, we're going to print out um, the value of n, the value of n squared, the value of n cubed, separated by tabs, right? So C out this value of counter, rather. See out, um, not, now I have to use the quotes for the slash tab. And then we can put in the counter value, and then the, again, the slash t, and the counter ver value, right? Counter squared. Counter squared is just counter times counter, right? Yeah. All right. And another tab character. Counter cube would be counter star counter star counter. Good. Yeah. And and Lynn. Okay, so we have C out, tab, counter, tab, counter squared, tab, counter cube, and new line character. Okay, now we have to, uh, uh, actually we could start counter at zero here and just increment it immediately before in the condition so that one will be, counter will be one just the right way and then it'll automatically increment. So next time through the loop, it'll print correctly, right? But we also have to accumulate the sums. So S plus equal counter, S squares 
plus equals counter times counter. And S cube equal what? Amir? Yeah. S cube? Yeah, one times counter times what counter one more time. Yeah, one more. Okay. All right, and uh, when when we're all done with this loop, we have to write the the uh, footer at the end. So when when we come out of the loop, we have to write the uh, s what the same way. See out. We want to put a line, uh, a full line across. So now nah, we'll just write it underneath. S maybe skip a line. So, and then, and then see out, we're going to use these tabs. You know what, I'll just cut and paste, right? And then we'll change counter to N, counter to S, and counter square to SSQ, and so on. So that'll be easier. Control C. Control V. So we change this to change this to S. Change this to S squared. Change this to S S Q. S S Q. And this one to S cube, right? And that should do it. If probably probably won't work because nothing ever works. But we're going to give it a try. Compile and run. S cube. I spell it wrong. Yeah, I spelled it wrong up here. Yeah. So let's try it again. All right. Enter small positive integer. Let's try ten. All right. That looks like a pretty fine table, right? Yeah. Uh, the sum of the first ten integers is ten times eleven divided by five, which is fifty-five. The formula for the squares is look good. Yeah, it's all good. Thank you so much for your help, Amir, and yeah. we're going to come back and do the same problem using a for loop, okay? Thank you. That's it for today. Dr. J saying thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of the peanut gallery.